Hello everybody and welcome to Central Florida. One of the real jewels in the crowd of sports car racing around the world is and has been for the last 65 years the Mobile 1 12 Hours of Sebring presented by Fresh from Florida. And the 2017 edition will be no exception and will certainly be adding to the classic tag that this race has. Drivers from all around America and Europe and indeed the world want to pit themselves against this very tough, very bumpy and very demanding circuit as well as the high level of competition found in the IMSA WeatherTech sports car paddock. Radio check. I'm distracted by the weather tech girl. <laughs> I don't blame you. Sorry, that's a good one here. Yep, just poor dirt. Nice clean start. Nice clean easy day today. Get ready. Green, green. Green, green, green. Go, go, go. Yanni gets the power down early. The green flag is waved and we are racing. Well, the world champion, Neil Johnny, got the brilliant jump off of Sunset Bend and takes that rebellion car to the front. And look at this, it's like history, like looking back it in is. time, a Ford GT leading a Porsche, leading a Corvette. That's what Sebring is all about. It. This is modern day endurance racing, a set of sprint races between tire changes and fuel stops. Fantastic stuff, different manufacturers. Bring a GT and here comes Christian Fittipaldi, who's second overall. As is this move, 62 on the move. The red Ferrari of Giancarlo Fisichella. Oh, some touch. Couple touch. Pops and bruises, we talked <laughs> yep. about it. Excuse Argy me. between Mucker and Fisichella. 3, 62, 66, and 69 on the top four cars. Magnussen really impressing me to do it. No problems here. Something feels like it's getting worse. Oh, Nelly. Uh, I got a wheel coming off. I can't get dangerous. Stand on the radio, it, it's not really uh, a family show. Throwing the car across the track, I mean, I almost got back at 150 miles an hour just now. Copy, copy, we're doing a driver change to gunner, driver change to gunner. Pits are open for GT, we are pitting this lap. We'll most likely be going on the drop. Copy that. Five, four, three, two, Ferrari is down and away, but the Porsche is down slightly quicker and they're going to be racing out of pit lane. And the Porsche passes in pit lane. Dirk Werner has got through. And the other thing he's having to deal with is that setting sun beginning to drop down there in the west. You're going to get it in your eyes on the way into the hairpin and you'll get it into turn 17, which is why they call it Sunset Bend. And they're going to have to deal with it until it drops below the horizon. These pictures we're getting here, just fantastic aerial photographs. Has, has Sebring ever looked fuller no, or better? No. Yeah, just traffic here. Alex Lynn chooses wrong, and uh, Felipe has a head of steam. It's all right, head down, stay with them. We'll beat them in pit lane, stay with them. This light should be just getting to that point where it's settling down a little bit. Ferrari versus Ford, we've seen that over the last. 18 months. And again, that battle is on with Tony Vlander going all the way around the long way, down towards turn seven. Last of the late breakers, and Vlander cuts to the right hand side and into the middle of the road and takes the lead. Jordan Taylor got onto the right hand side of the track, pinched the corner. I wonder if he can stall it. A little thing. Dream Racing Lamborghini stranded at the side of the track. This is our fifth full course yellow. Full course yellow does mean, of course, that our friends at Cape Canaveral can launch that rocket now. Light rocket. Rapid ignition. Five, four, our 68A engine ignition. One, and we have liftoff. Lift there it is. That, it is up and away carrying a satellite, and that thing is making some serious pace. Don't mind us, Jordan. We're just watching uh, the Delta Core rocket launch. The whole pit lane almost missed every pit stop because of the rocket in the sky. <laughs> green, green, green. 
John Taylor is leading the motor race. Somehow, Tonio Garcia has seen enough through that stained windscreen of the three car. Got him in turn one. P3, P3, that's six and ahead of the six, seven. The blue oval versus the bow tie. This is a brilliant run from Tonio <laughs> Garcia. Yeah. Here comes Blake of all and down the inside into 17. My goodness, he was close to the wall on the right hand side. Balzan too late in closing the door and a decisive strike for the front of the field. And that's how you do it. Way to go, buddy. Way to go. Side by side action. Porsche on forward through turn one. And the 911 goes through. Pile up into second position. Directly ahead of him now is Antonio Garcia. Yeah, target acquired. Patrick yeah. Pile is in the pit lane. Patrick Pele in the pit lane in the 911. He's got a problem. You saw him hit the steering wheel when he came in. Yeah, he did. Oh, wow. What about the Corvette, Antonio Garcia? He has done one of those hero stints that we talk about. Antonio Garcia and Chevrolet and Corvette are going to bring it home for the win in GT Le Mans as well. Awesome. Hell yeah. Bye. A sweep of the opening two rounds for this team, Performance Tech. In prototype challenge, what an opening of this season for this team into the final turn. 60 years after Mercedes' last appearance in the 12 hours of Sebring, Mercedes back in victory circle at Sebring. And the 2017 Mobile One 12 hours of Sebring Fueled by Fresh from Florida, will go to the 10 car. Oh my goodness, we're going to Awesome job, everybody. We got to go to the podium. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. The big names have raced here on this concrete. The likes of Sir Jack Brabham and Sterling Moss, Gurney, Steve McQueen, Peter Revson, Mario Andretti. And the concrete that they are racing on is the concrete that they raced on. And that is why today's drivers, if they have anything about them, and most of these guys do, that's why they revere coming here and saying, I won the Sebring 12 hours.